On January 12, 2010, a devastating earthquake ravaged Haiti. Buildings were destroyed, families were separated, and lives were lost. Kanes Camille was getting ready for church when it hit. I heard the sound and I saw the house was shaking and cracking. And I just said, God, save me. Camille's prayers were answered. He survived the death and destruction around him. So did Pierre-Louis Joisil and Esperange Sena. The men were college students who were learning the skills they would need to improve life in their poor, developing country. Their plans were derailed because their university was destroyed during the earthquake. They are wonderful, wonderful people, have wonderful, wonderful gifts to give to their people. She would learn that firsthand in time. But when the natural disaster struck, Pat Kuhill only knew about the men through stories told by her husband Tom and a photo hanging in her kitchen. The picture was taken of her husband and the college students he worked with during a missionary trip to Haiti. When the earthquake hit, the first thing I saw in my mind was that picture. Pat pointed to the picture and she said, why don't you bring some of those guys up here to finish? And of course, Sienna, it's, in its open-hearted way, did, provided scholarships for them. The stipulations were that the students could speak some English and that they were approaching graduation. That way, they could finish their coursework at Siena and earn degrees from their university in Haiti. Camille, Joisil, and Sena met that criteria. I know the education in the USA is very expensive, and Siena gave me opportunity to study for one year to bring back a good hope for Haiti. Through Dr. Tom, we had the opportunity to come to Siena College to complete our degree. Along with hitting the books, the Haitians learned about American culture from their new caretakers, Tom and Pat Kuhill. It was amazing how quickly we thought of them as our children. We kept referring to them as our kids. And in fact, we have three boys who are all grown, and they refer to these guys as the replacements. The replacements spent a year living the American dream. They went skiing, saw skyscrapers, and learned that for some inexplicable reason, Americans feel the need to walk their dogs. They also developed a taste for canned soup, strawberries, and pizza. In Haiti, it is the kind of thing that you use for some special occasion. I'm not sure that my, like my father has ever eaten pizza. They also figured out the finer points of the English language. The funny word in Eileen is squirrel, you know? So that's, it's, it's, it's it was a hard word for me to say, a squirrel now, and I hope I can say that well. While they enjoyed living with the Kuhills, who they now consider their second set of parents, and they embraced a new culture, the Haitian students remained focused on developing the skills they need to help their country recover. My dream, I would like to open an orphanage to help the kids, help the kids have a good education, provide the kids a good food. To make his dream a reality, Sena studied business and management. Joisil also wants to help the young people of Haiti get an education. So he joined Sena in taking business classes, but also studied education in hopes of further developing a school he started last October. I had the chance to make the dean list in the first semester, but I didn't expect that, but it, it, it was very nice for me. Camille plans to develop technology that will use solar energy to provide electricity to the people of Haiti. He gained hands-on experience by working in the science labs. Haiti, as a poor country, only 12% of the population has access to electricity. Much like other students, the culmination to their Siena experience was commencement. They received certificates of attendance and countless cheers from the crowd. Now they're home, where they're focused on improving the lives of the Haitian people, many of whom are still suffering. We, Haitian, have the responsibility to make it better. For me, it's a great opportunity to come here and learn things and go back with them to help my country. The Kuhils, on the other hand, are once again surveying an empty nest and often find themselves fondly remembering the replacements. <laughs>